Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am back with just a quick food recall. Another one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, today is Saturday, August the 1st. And it's 10.37. 10.37 a.m. Okay. This is from a an online, you know, publication called foodsafetynews.com. All right. And the, this is about sal, uh, salmonella being found in red onions. All right. The title is Cisco recalls red onions in Canada. Now, they're recalling them in Canada. Now, now, but let me continue. Because of salmonella link. And then there's a semicolon. U.S. mum. Which I don't understand that word. Mum. What's U.S. mum? Anyway, let me read this. By News Desk on July 31st. 2020. The editor's note. After this story published, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention posted outbreak updates naming Thompson International, a California company, as the source of implicated red onions. Okay. According, and then there's a link, read our coverage here. According to the Public Health Agency of Canada, as of Thursday, there have been 114 confirmed cases of Salmonella, Newport, illness, Salmonella, Newport, illness linked to red onions. It could be related to a U.S. outbreak. That has yet to be associated with any food. Okay. They're blaming it on onions. But now they're saying it could. It has yet to be associated with any food. Salmonella Newport. Let's look that up. Is that supposed to be together? Or did they forget a comma? Sal. Oops. Salmonella. Newport. Symptoms. Okay. Most persons infected with salmonella bacteria develop diarrhea, fever, abdominal cramps. 12 to 72 hours after infection. This is a bacteria. The illness usually lasts 4 to 7 days. And most persons recover without treatment. However, in some persons, the diarrhea may be so severe that the patient needs to be hospitalized. Yes, you can get dehydrated and that can be very bad. Okay, so I'm thinking there should have been a comma after the word salmonella. Let's see how that reads. Uh, there may have been 114 confirmed cases of salmonella. Newport illness linked. That doesn't make sense. There was no definition for salmonella Newport. Anyway, we'll continue on. As of this afternoon, which would have been yesterday... Neither the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, nor the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, had posted any updates for the U.S. outbreak or any information about the Canadian action. On July 10th, CDC's PulseNet database identified an outbreak of 13 Salmonella Newport infections. Okay, see, they're calling it Salmonella Newport. Well, maybe with a better search engine, I could find out, you know, what's the difference. Salmonella Newport infections in three states. 
Okay, so PulseNet database identified an outbreak of 13 Salmonella Newport infections in three states. Since being identified, the outbreak has rapidly grown to a total of 212 infections in 23 states. But as of July 24, the FDA and CDC have not identified a specific food, grocery store, or restaurant as the source of the outbreak. Well, gee, I thought they said it was red onions. They said, as of Thursday, there have been 114 cases linked to red onions. But the U.S. outbreak has yet to be associated with any food. Huh. All right. As of this afternoon, the U.S. agencies had not updated their July 24th outbreak notices. Individuals became sick between mid-June and mid-July. Information is available for 102 illnesses. You mean cases of illness? Out of 102 people, 16 individuals have been hospitalized. No deaths have been reported. Individuals who became ill are between 3 and 100 years of age. The majority of cases, 56%, are female. <laughs> According to Canadian health officials, that doesn't really matter, does it? But someone might have that question. Individuals who became ill in Canada reported eating red onions at home in menu in menu items ordered at restaurants and in residential care settings. So in other words, the ones in Canada reported eating them at home, red onions at home, in menu items ordered at restaurants and in residential care settings. Hmm, the Canadian, the Canadian government is warning all people to not consume any red or pink onions until the situation is further investigated. Well, I suppose we can get by without red onions. The recalled onions are brand Imperial Fresh Red Onions Jumbo. Size, 10 pound. I guess you can get them in 10 pound bags. I've never seen a 10 pound onion of you. Product code, 8399925. All products imported since May 24th, 2020. That's additional information. They're suggested, suggesting any Imperial Fresh Red Onions, the jumbo kind, imported since May 24th. You should throw them out. Also, Imperial Fresh Red Onions, jumbo, 25 pound, product code 8313967. Again, all products imported since May 24, 2020. Cisco Canada, a broadline supplier that serves the various institutional, restaurant, and retail customers, announced the recall Thursday evening. Cisco warned shoppers mustn't devour the recalled merchandise or recalled, I guess is how you'd say that, recalled merchandise described under or meals containing these uncooked pink onions. Now, you can get salmonella from raw hamburger, 
and chicken and eggs, they say. So if you got these, you could saute them and cook them well until they're transparent. Uh, so it says uncooked. Don't eat them uncooked. Meals, service institutions, establishments, retailers. I don't know what's wrong with my pronunciation today. It's retailers. Distributors and producers mustn't serve, use, or promote the recall, recalled merchandise described under these can also have been bought from Cisco or online by numerous restaurant areas. Cisco, oh my goodness, I ate a piece of red onion last night from the kitchen. Fresh, not cooked. Cisco is recalling Re recalling, <laughs> oh, goodness sakes, pink onions in Western Canada by the next Cisco areas, Victoria, Vancouver, Kelowna, Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg, and Regina. Okay, according to Canadian officials, individuals who became ill reported eating red onions or pink imported from the U.S. at home, in menu items ordered at restaurants, and in residential care settings. Okay, that's enough of that. You get the idea. If you have any, throw them out or cook them well. Okay, they give you a map here. All right, there's a map. I'll leave the link. If you can't, if you want to see this and you don't, you can't click on the link. The worst cases, 26 to 51, are in the very dark blue. That's Oregon and, shoot so dark you can they use black ink and the one above Arizona Utah absolutely no cases in Nevada uh, California is teal which is six to ten cases so California Wyoming South Dakota Iowa Illinois those are all teal Washington is two to one to two people. Washington, Wisconsin, Tennessee, and Florida, and Maine is one to two people. Three to five people is this light. No, it's it's this green. North Carolina, Virginia, Ohio. See, it's not that many. But anyway, Missouri. Nebraska, North Dakota, Minnesota, Idaho. And this almost dark, it's a dark teal, is the next highest, 22. Twenty-five? No, fifteen. Twelve to fifteen people sickened. Arizona, Montana, Michigan, and that's all of that color. Okay, and that was put up by the CDC. I will leave the link if anyone wants to look at it. All right, with that I'll say um, bye for now. Talk to you later.